history of computer. The story of computer has started long ago for counting and calculating. Early man used to count with pebbles, bones of animals, making lines on walls, etc. But he could not count big numbers with these methods. So he discovered apparatus for counting, Napier bone for multiplication and so on. Finally, the electronic calculating device computer was invented. Let us know about evolution of computers. We will see some early calculating devices starting from abacus, napier bones, analytical engine, mark 1, etc. The first early calculating device was abacus. It was the first mechanical device used for calculations. It was invented by Mesopotamians around 3000 BC. Abacus means abandoned beads, addition and calculation utility system. It consisted of beads on movable rods divided into two parts. Even today, it is used by young children to learn basic calculations. Next came Napier bones. It was invented by John Napier, a Scottish mathematician, in 1670. The device has a set of rods or bones with multiplication tables on them. It performed addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Pascalin Invented by Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician in 1642. It was the first mechanical calculator made up of gears and wheels. It performed addition and subtraction operations faster than abacus. Next came Leibniz wheel. It was in invented by Gottfried William Leibniz in 1685. He extended Pascal calculator to have an automatic multiplication and division. It had a cylinder or step drum with a set of feet of incremental lengths which was coupled to a counting wheel. Jacquard loom. It was invented by Joseph Mary Jacquard in 1804. It made the cotton weaving process automatic. The loom was controlled by a number of punch cards placed together into a continuous sequence. Then came differential engine. It was invented by Charles Babbage, a British mathematician in 1822. He is also known as father of computers. It could solve differential equations and it was powered by steam. It stored program to perform calculations and print results automatically. Mark 1. It was invented by Howard Aiken in 1944. He collaborated with IBM and developed the largest electromechanical computer. It was the first computing machine that could execute computations automatically. It is considered to be the real beginning of the era of the modern computer. Let us know about the different generations of computers. The first generation of computers. The period of first generation computer was from 1940 to 1956 using vacuum tubes. Hardware technology. The first generation of computers started using vacuum tubes as a basic component for a memory and a circuitry for central processing unit. The input to the computer was through paper tapes and punch cards. Second generation computer. The period of second generation computer was 1956 to 1963 using transistors. Hardware technology. Transistors replaced the vacuum tubes of the first generation of computer. During this generation, using the transistors were cheaper, consumed less power, more compact in size, more reliable and faster than the first generation machine. Third generation computers. The th period of third generation computers was 1964 to 1971 using integrated circuits that is ICs. Hardware technology. The third generation computers used the integrated circuit chips. In an IC chips, multiple transistors are placed on a silicon chip. Fourth generation of computers. The period of fourth generation of computer was from 1971 to present, that is microprocessor. 
hardware technology the technology used is large scale integration and very large scale integration vlsi circuits thousands of transistors are integrated on a small silicon chip using lsi technology fifth generation of computers the period of fifth generation is present and beyond it using ultra large scale integration that is ulsi recent research has focused on developing the thinking computer that is artificial intelligence that is ai this generation is based on parallel processing hardware and artificial intelligence hardware technology the vlsi technology become ulsi that is ultra large scale integration technology which enables to store millions of components on a single chip let us know about hardware and software computer hardware computer hardware are the physical parts of a computer that you can see and touch some examples of computer hardware are the cpu monitor mouse keyboard speakers printer and motherboard these are the electronic devices used to build up the computer hardware is so called because it is hard or rigid the hardware is instructed or directed software to do any work the hardware can understand only low level language or machine language computer software computer software is the set of instructions that can be stored and run by hardware the software is responsible for directing the work to the hardware the software is designed and developed by experienced programmers in high level language software is soft because it is easy to change examples of software are ms word ms excel powerpoint google chrome windows ms paint etc hardware cannot perform any task without software and software cannot be executed without hardware a combination of hardware and software forms a usable computing system applications of information technology in our daily life it is a recognized fact that the application of information technology in our daily life has changed dramatically over the past couple of years Information technology is used in every sphere of life like education, communication, business, commerce, treatment and banking etc. Let's look at the example of communication as it has definitely changed the way of our daily life. Many years ago we used to communicate we are writing but now we are communicating by using information network like telephone, mobile phone, internet etc. It has brought a new dimension in the field of education. We can get any type of information staying at home when we need. The famous books of the world are available and easily accessible via internet. Every day we are now getting new and new information with the help of information technology. IT is now used in e-banking system. We can perform our banking activities via online. At present IT has also turned a tremendous effect in the field of treatment. Information technology in the modern world has evolved so much that you can enjoy it in all the places. Think about car with satellite navigation built in. Think about climate control and think about digital display within your vehicle. These all have been possible by information technology. It has even changed the way we buy things. Long have the days gone that you needed a cash machine or ATM to withdraw the cash and purchase everything with cash. Now you can purchase using a PDQ machine or PIN and PIN machine or credit card. It has definitely made our life so much easier. IT has introduced the internet system and turned a new era in the field of e-commerce. E-commerce is a system of buying and selling goods through online. With extremely busy lifestyle and lack of time, e-commerce has changed the way of purchasing things. It has changed so much that businesses are forever investing to online shopping. As you can see, the application of information technology in our daily life 
has definitely changed the way we live our lives. Long have the days we communicate solely face to face. The application of IT has definitely changed the way communication, commerce, business, education as well as the way we lead our lives.